Hello everyone. It's a beautiful day out there. It's a beautiful nice day out there. I'm Chris and I'm sat here with a nice cup of tea relaxing with my, my best friend Chris. And we are playing some Divinity Original Sin 2. And I am super, super excited about it. Um, I know I've done some playing of this game um, myself and in my single player I did, I got a lot of stuff, well not a lot of stuff done, but you know, I, I, I messed around and so I, and everything that I saw was pretty nice. And, uh, and Chris, how, uh, what do you think? Have you done any playing of this yourself? Yeah, only a little bit, too. Uh, I just did kind of like the first quest scenario or whatever, just to get the feel of things. And it uh, looks like a really nice game. Um, I, I hope it lasts for a while. I hope the progression uh, turns out to be something good, something that I'm expecting. But other than that, the graphics look great. The gameplay is nice and smooth. I'm really a fan of the turn-based combat, too. Uh, just, you know, with all the... The new style of gaming, you know, you got that Overwatch in there, you got uh, League of Legends and, and Path of Exile and stuff, it's all just so in your face. Here you can, in the middle of combat, you can go upstairs, go make yourself a sandwich and come back and be in the same spot that you were, which is really nice. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to playing some some games like that. Absolutely. Um, so my character, I've, I already uh, sort of preset up the character and I'll, and I'll talk through it a little bit. Um, are you Are you ready over there? Yep, yeah, I think I know what I want to play too. Okay, um, so I'm, I am I quite like uh, playing elves in general, so I, I went with an elf again here, and I'm an enchanter, so I'll be using a lot more magic-based stuff, and um, specifically I've got Fossil Strike, I've got Searing Daggers, and I have Ignition, um, which will be mo all offensive spells, um, which, which I find um, were helpful in the little bit of combat that I've done. You know, I... There are a bunch of appearance preset, you know, uh, customizing options and stuff. It's it's good. I left the attributes alone. Um, I did, inst I did opt into uh, pyrokinetic and geomancer, which give me the skills that I wanted to do, and persuasion, which um, I just think is super super useful. And you'll you'll see why as we as we start to play. And then I picked uh, as my one talent leech, which will heal me. Um, while standing in blood, which happens more often than I think. Uh, yeah, this game I is originally surprisingly thought. bloody. Yeah, yeah, it really is. Um, so it's a it's a useful little skill to have. Um, I'm a noble and a scholar, and I am gonna. One of my favorite parts of the customization here is that you can customize the instrument that will play during little dialogue scenes, and I have picked the cello, which is one of my favorite instruments in general. So. Oh yeah, me too. Uh, but I, I went with the oud. Ah uh, yes, uh, just a, just a really classic fantasy style instrument. Whenever I see one, I'm like, ah, if only it were 1600 again. Back when times <laughs> were simpler. <laughs> do you know what the difference between a tambura and an oud is? I actually do. Um, I think the tambura is the one that has four or five strings, uh, and oud has eleven or thirteen strings. It is a, oh, wow. is a deeper. Uh, a deeper physically instrument it's it's more akin to a guitar whereas a tambour is more like a sitar i think and they're both from southeast asia if i'm not mistaken i could very well be mistaken i will have to fact check that later <laughs> yes uh, as far as my guy goes uh, i'm gonna play a human so like that, that gives me the encourage attribute or i guess not attribute ability uh, it gives me the ability to encourage everyone increasing their primary attributes. I'm going to take uh, a physical damage single target attack, a physical damage AoE attack, and a sort of like a defensive offensive kind of thing, a uh, mosquito swarm, which is the one that lets me suck blood from my enemies, dealing physical damage, and healing myself. Nice. Uh, I Let's see. I left all my attributes the same strength intelligence constitution because i'm going to be melee mostly and my all three of these abilities actually increase all, or get a bonus for my intelligence score in addition to of course my strength because they're going to be using uh, attack or, or weapon damage abilities i wasn't really sure what to go with uh, it's given me telekinesis and, and i rather like that but um i know that persuasion bartering and lore master are actually incredibly useful um do you have do you have any of those I don't remember what you said. Uh, I have I have leech, and then I also have ancestral knowledge, which gives me plus one lore master. The um, the civil abilities, right? Yeah. Yes, yes, and then and then corpse eater. But I just have leech as my. Um... No, no, just uh, if you go over the the preset and then your civil abilities, you have the option to switch one. 
Oh. Uh, yes. Um, that's, that's right. I completely forgot. Um, yes, I took, I actually did take a point in persuasion. Okay. Um. All right, yeah, I think that's good. I have a default in bartering because I'm human, I think. I think that's how that works. That'll be good. So you can barter and I can talk to people. Yeah, I guess so. I, well, more or less similarly. Um, and I've kept Warfare and Necromancer because they just kind of, I think they just fit properly. And then for my talent, I've taken What a Rush, which increases my recovery and maximum action points by one when my health is below 50%. I just feel like that's that's going to come in handy. Yeah. Uh, and that's it. I'm a scholar and a soldier. And uh, I've based my visage on Dr. Joshua Sweet from the greatest Disney movie of all time, Atlantis. Ow. Oh, right. Oh, I forgot about that. That wasn't... Was that actually Disney? Uh... I think so. Oh. We'll have to, we'll have to fact check that one, too. Yeah. You're, you're probably right. Better but... <laughs> it's not as good if it's not. <laughs> I guess other uh, <laughs> other animation studios are not available. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so uh, should we should we jump in? Yeah, let's jump right into this. Right. I'm excited. I know I said that before, but I'm extra excited now. All right. Um, I still have points to spend. I don't know what that's about. Every time I build a character, um, I get this warning. I used a preset once, and that it didn't come up. So I, I think I it might don't be an elf thing. These... Because I've never played an elf, and I've never gotten that, so I don't know. It could be, but I just I don't know where to put them, like wh or where they are that I'm not... Uh, well, let's go in, and then you can go to your skills and see if they show up there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. And let's listen to this opening bit. Yep. So peaceful. It is. It all... And an apple a day brings the void woken to play. And the magisters pointed their fingers at me. Just as I'd planned. I was shackled. And collared and sent to Fort Joy. Okay, we're all getting put put on the ship. I'd come here to kill Taken off. Welcome. But instead I became part of their story. The original sin. Yes, the original Sin 2, which implies that it's not the original, <laughs> right. it's the sequel to the original. Well, this is the, sex, the second time you, you sinned with the same sin, which was the Oh, that's true. One. There we go. That'll, I, <laughs> that'll do I it. I like how they used apples for the, for the sorcerer. I don't know if that mm. was intentional or... Yeah, oh, maybe. Oh, sin. yes! Mm, getting biblical in here. We are. Oh, I got a headache. Do to me? Right. What did they do? Let's get what did they do? Bearings. What's what's around here? Um, well, there's a skull back here. Yeah. Not a very let's, uh, let's go talk to this this woman up here. I, I tried to talk to the skull, and uh, apparently I said that he, you're not a very chatty fellow, are you? <laughs> Magister C1. There. Not too tight, I hope. The collar, I mean. Oh, not to worry. Every dog has to get used to its leash. In the meantime, your next stop will be Magister William. All passengers have to be registered in the ship's manifest, and he's the chap in charge of the logs. You'll find him on the other side of this deck, in the officer's quarters. Uh, now I can respond. Hmm. I'm going to pull the thing around my neck and demand to know why she collared me. Why? For my peace of mind, of course. Why don't you try casting one of those sore spells of yours? See what happens. Yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to unleash yeah. my magic. Currents of magic surge inside me, boiling, bursting, then breaking, only to fade back into my soul like rain into the earth. 
My, look at the concentration on your face. All will but no result. I don't like her. There you no. have it. See? The compass function, it neuters you of sorts. Makes you unable to cast source. She's fond of her animal references. Mm. Yeah. For your own peace of mind, of course. Yours and the whole world's. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to salute her. I, I have that option as a soldier, to be soldierly. Right. But <laughs> I think that's that's been in my past, right? I that that'd be that's up to you. That's that's you. I'm gonna take my leave. Huh. Ancient book. Oh, okay. Nope. Can't. Yep. All right. <laughs> I lost some some favor with her. I'm sure it won't matter. Or this this door is only ten times. I don't know more than ten times our vitality. It's, it's been a murder here. All right. Uh, minister, or who are you talking to? Oh, uh, I'm just tapping in your conversation. Oh, okay. Good. I was like, wait. Um, behind the magister, a bloodied mass lies in a heap. Gore and limbs lie at odd angles. You can't make out a face amid the mess. Um, I'm going to peer into the room and ask what happened. There's been a murder. Sorcerer was killed by one of your own. Lucky you were busy getting your collar fitted at the time, or you'd be a suspect like the rest of them. Waters is investigating. She'll figure out who did it. Always does. Um... <laughs> Always does. Ask if this sort of thing happens often. You surprised? You're one of them. You know what sorcerers are capable of. Whoever did this found a way inside, around their collar, and killed a man. Small ones this time, thank the gods. We'll find out who did it, one way or another. Okay. Will you now? I guess. I guess uh, you want to. You want to deal with the watery magister? Uh. Oh yeah, yeah. What a what an apt name to be on a ship, right? Is Magister Waters? Uh, I can't tell. Ugly sight, isn't it? Burns me up. This happened under our protection. We're extremely lucky. No void or can follow the source that did this. Hmm. <laughs> Ask why she's letting me so close to the crime scene. <laughs> it does seem a little irresponsible. Yeah. She looks up at you with a mirthless smile. I was on duty in your room when the murder happened. You were asleep the whole time. Didn't even stir. You're the only one indisputably innocent people on the ship. Unless you can commit murder in your sleep, of course. Totally gonna say that I can. <laughs> Maybe I can? Not with that collar on, you aren't. Listen, oh. I could use someone to keep their ears open among the passengers. Sometimes they claim they calm up in front of a uniform. Bring me a good lead and I'll throw a shiny gold coin for you. How about that? Hmm. Hmm. I'm going to tell her my price is higher than that. <laughs> Not in here, it isn't. Yeah, I guess that's fair. You let me know <laughs> if you hear anything. Whoever did this is dangerous. Alright. Oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Locked myself What's... in. Oh. I just phased through the door. No big deal. Um, I I was out here getting some stuff. Oh, you got a bucket head. I do have a bucket head. Um, Sounds like reason. So there's that. Oh. Would you like to? Oh. Uh, would you like to voice my wife? <laughs> <laughs> ah, there you are, <clears throat> husband. Would you please tell this very charming gaggle of not at all brat like babes that I am by no accounts this loser woman, nor do I sing. In fact, I'm deathly, deathly allergical. Is that a real word? I, she's your wife, you tell me. Hey, hey, I'm not, I'm not, she's a strong, independent woman who don't need me to tell her what to do. I'm not saying to tell her what to do, I'm just saying you would probably know her better than I would. Mm -hmm. You must have me confused with someone else. Why, I never... I left my good pearls at home, or I'd be clutching them with all my daintiest, most ladylike might. Say as you will, husband. Madam Josephine Gribbles de Peeve won't be treated so. Is your last name de Peeve? <laughs> no, it's sweet. Would you have told me if your last name is de Peeve? No, probably not. Okay. The children break out into giggles. What? What's so funny? <laughs> Why, your last name, of course. 
Her pinched face cracks into a great grin, and she shoos the children away from her with a laugh. <laughs> yeah, okay, you found me out. Go on and get, and maybe I'll sing you something when I'm good and ready. She turns to you, dark-eyed and dirty-haired, smiles flatly. Gotta keep ourselves entertained, haven't we? That's true enough. Well, sir, I presume? You'd presume right. Hmm. I'll ask her about the murder. Nope. Trying not to find anything out, either. Ignorance is bliss. The utterer, the better. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's get away from this crazy lady. Oh. Suddenly her eyes cloud an unnatural black. Grayish veins run down her face, and her mouth tightens into a cruel sneer. As quickly as they came, the clouds clear. She smiles as though no change came over her. Good luck, chief. Um, we're just going to let that one go? I don't think we have a choice. Oh, okay. Oh, I know, I know. There's only one other voice that I want to do in here. <laughs> oh, don't forget to grab yourself a bedroll. Uh, I did, actually. Oh, okay. Yes, I, I found a bedroll. Uh, Next to the bucket. Right. This is this is the other voice I want to do. <laughs> Who the this guy? Yeah. Oh, I can talk to him first. I didn't need to. Well, well, what have we here? A fresh face in this stale hell. Let's size you up, shall we? See if you'll do. The lizard looks you up and down like a farmer would fetching a horse. All of a sudden, he grips you firmly by the chin with the intent of inspecting your teeth. Hmm. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm inspecting your teeth, in case that wasn't spectacularly obvious. Hmm. There's some discoloration, but I've, I've seen worse. After all, one can't expect to find prime merchandise on this squalid little ship like this. Now then, to business. You will answer me three questions. The first one is this. Can you cook? You know, I'm quite a wizard in the kitchen. Ah, music to my beleaguered stomach. On to the second question. Can you knit, weave, in short, tailor? <laughs> Stick your thumb through one of the holes in your garb and say these provide cool in the sun. <laughs> yes, I can tell if I'm your vagabond chic. A bag is as good as a shirt kind of style. I shouldn't be getting my hopes up. On then to my final query. Have you the ability, ability to administer the upkeep of one's personal appearance? The delicate art of cosmetics is what I'm after. This guy's ridiculous. He is ridiculous, and I love it. I'm tired of this game. Get out of here. Goodness gracious me, what a bore. Off with you. Quite clearly, you wouldn't have done it all. Shoot. Hashtag now my prince. <laughs> uh, I feel better. Okay. <laughs> I'm get this greasy key up here. Greasy key? Greasy key. Does it unlock a greasy lock? Uh, it unlocks the greasy door, yeah. Oh. <laughs> we knew that. I'm going to take this garlic. Okay. <laughs> Potato. Oh, wait. Potato. Oh, cooking pot. Okay. Uh, yeah, I feel like that might be useful. Yep, I'm gonna grab the, uh, the the poison. Mashed potatoes. Mug of wine. Journal. I'll give you that uh, let's have a look at this journal. Read. This tome contains no text. Instead, sketches of dragons fill every page. The artist is hardly talented, but clearly enthusiastic. Hardly talented. Hardly talented. T even in even as in his absence. The world is a jerk tin. Yes. Uh, um, oh, nothing in the sacks. Do you want to talk to anybody else whilst we're here? Um, did I? Oh, I didn't want to take that whole pot. I yeah, I did the same thing. Get out of here. Although I should wear my uh, my bucket hat. I'm going to equip this knife. I want to see if I can find myself a better weapon, like a two hand or something. That'd be good. Uh, I don't know if there's anybody else in here to talk to. I don't want to talk to any of these magisters. Okay. Who's this guy? It's Fane. Okay. Talk to Fane. 
The elf is reading a volume of Cranley Hubert's famous encyclopedia. He looks up, his big round eyes scanning your body, absorbing every detail. He reaches out and takes your hand, turning it this way and that, examining it from every angle. Finally, he pinches your skin, gently tugging it. Fascinating. Yeah. He sits back and returns to his book, flicking quickly from page to page, completely oblivious to your presence. Uh, eh. I'll, I'll ask him if the book's any good. It's simultaneously too detailed and insufficient. I know the beginning of this tale and the end, but I'm rather missing the middle. Mm. Tell me, what do you know of your, our world's history? Uh, well, Cranley Hubert's work is generally seen as the authority, but you can recommend some histories of each race. Oh, that was a narrative. Oops. Huh. Oh, please, I have no interest in that. Your books are too full of it already. No, I want to know about the Celestial. I want to know about your gods. This text tells me that they're all cre- that they created all creatures, but nothing of what came before. Hmm. I don't know. This guy's kind of creepy. He his yes. If you yeah. I mean maybe maybe it's my fault. I met it made him creepy. But hey. I mean he he's kind of giving me the creeps. You know what? If he wants legends, he should read a history book. <sighs> Of course, you don't have any useful information. Why did I expect anything else? I don't know. I don't know why you expected anything else, you weirdo. Hmm. What's this mean? We're gonna talk to Magister Paid. Oh. Uh, I guess I'll, I'll, I'll get him. Here to register, sir. Good, good. Magister Williams is just about done with the last passenger. You faring okay so far? Um, <laughs> ask if he'd be fine collared like a dog and stuck in a ship's hold with a corpse and a murderer on the loose. <laughs> he tugs at the collar of his uniform and chuckles. <laughs> Sorry you're upset, sir, but we all wear what we wear for a reason. You head on in now. Williams will get you sorted fast. Oh, jeez. Here we go. Do, 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 do. Standing at the center of the room, you spot a sorcerer haughtily eyeing a pair of nervous-looking magisters. They keep their crossbow trained upon her as she is being interrogated by an officer. So you admit it, then? You murdered that poor fellow? You want to do her? <laughs> sure. Yes, I did. But of course, that was only the beginning. She turns her head and looks you straight in the eye. There are others whose lives must end. Good gods, the woman's mad. You there, sorcerer, go and fetch Magister Seawin. We need to do more than collar up this maniac. We need to shackle her, hands and feet. Yes, sir. By all means, do as the officer says. <laughs> but you had better hurry, because... She reaches for her collar and simply removes it. Oh, God. I'm just about to create a scene. Subdue her, men! Quickly! If she casts source, the Void Woken will come. They'll end us all. She smiles with wicked satisfaction. Precisely. Nice, nice R one. Right? Fight! I don't know how to fight. That looks dangerous. Fight's over. GG. <laughs> 